down here, which is yet another Vigland machine. Um, and it's probably of very similar spec, but as far as I know, it's got 256 mega RAM because it supports SD RAM. Um, in terms of the back of it, I think it's very much the same as the other Vigland machines. Yeah, I've got I've got some USB ports there, um, parallel, and I've um, got a 100 meg network card, graphics, and a 10 meg and token link card further down. But aside from that, it's very much the same spec as the one on. This computer's got MMX technology, Pentium um, 233, 256 mega RAM, and yeah. Phoenix BIOS. Let's see if it will run. Alright, okay. Uh, there we go, Windows Millennium Edition. One of the world's most hated operating systems, beside Windows Vista, of course. But both were in a league of their own. Windows 2000 is so much better to use and doesn't just end up failing the whole time. Like this, which comes up with all sorts of illegal operations and all sorts of other crazy things. Well, these all coming up with all sorts of. Probably saying that's probably to have to allocate um, fix ones. They don't want to work on DHCP. Rather than necessarily anything else. Alright, let's have a look in here. Let's see if it will. Oh, it's in that. It's just said it disabled it, so it probably won't work. But you can always be hopeful. Although I know that's not really the way to be, but. Hey ho. Got type VNC on here, and that's yeah, it's not going to work. But nothing particularly unexpected there. Now let's, let's have a browse through Windows Millennium's networking options. I mean, yeah, in some ways I sort of quite miss the old um, sort of icon style. Um, but I suppose nowadays we're in much we're in a much more sort of graphical sort of age and something like that yeah it's a bit old aged you know, god this mouse is terrible let's get into network properties it'll probably ask me for a reset yeah. oh, th I'm sure I put it at 77 okay uh, tell me it won't ask me for a re yeah ask me for a restart okay that's not necessarily a massive issue it very slow with the RAM uh, and we already sort of press F1 to resume That's the keyboard I'm using, and the mouse, and there's another serial mouse which I use for the main server. In this Matrix card does appear to support direct draw acceleration and direct 3D acceleration, so it might be worth trying to see if I can get the 3D mark to run on it, but I'm, I'm not very hopeful. No. Because it's running Windows Millennium, it doesn't support um, NTFS formatted drives. And as the files on my memory stick, therefore it won't want to read it. And there's no way I want to format it because I've got plenty of stuff on there. So I think we can forget about that and let's just go on the internet. And perhaps not go on some not so graphical websites. I mean, it's got Google as the desktop background, not desktop background, as the Home page. Let's go on the BBC again. Oh god, it's really struggling. You can see it's quite laggy, but that's again not overly surprising from something of which is like 13 years old or something. 
not older, probably near 14 or 15 years old. You can see it's taking its time a bit. And we're there, a bit quicker than on the other computer, but that's not actually overly surprising. And actually the other problem with the um with the old um Optiplex with the Pentium 2 is it doesn't have any USB ports. And even if it did, um and even if it did, the Windows NT4 doesn't support USB.